Yeah, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, you'd be in trouble. Right, as I was saying, so here we go, FMC. Somebody asked me last night, is it hard to program an FMC? Um, not necessarily, but you do need to know what you're doing. Um, so, and the Boeing FMCs, once you've done one, they're all the same. Um, we've got the wrong airport there, as you can see, it says Cardiff, but I've got uh, Gibraltar down here, LX GB in the scratch pad. Just click up there and it goes in. Unfortunately, can't use gates in um, Explain, so there's no point putting a gate in there. So we just need to go to the root, and once again, you put LXGB up there, and we're going to Manchester, I believe, EGCC, over in the destination. I'm not quite sure what runway's in use yet at uh, Gibraltar. We'll figure that out in a minute. In fact, we'll do that now. So, dot meta, I am online, whoops, dot ma, hang on, hang on, what's going on, dot meta, xgb, winds 220 and 10 knots, 220 slash 10 knots, so that will be, um, I'll tell you which runway that'll be, in a moment. Take an outside shot. It will be it's gonna be this this runway down here. Two seven, right, we've got it. So runway two seven. Go back inside. So runway two two seven. Okay. It's saying direct, but we'll sort out the uh, departure in a moment. So, first thing we do is the. Um, I've got the flight plan over here. You see it there. So, that here's our flight plan. We need to type all this in. Okay, so. First waypoint is Ma. And put this over on the right hand side up with all these waypoints here. Uh, the one we want is normally the top one because it's closest to your position. So take the top one, goes in. It still says direct here and there, but don't worry. Because when we put the departure in, it will <laughs> clear all this here. <clears throat> Next page. So now we need to put in the airway. The airway is uh, up in November 871. And then the next waypoint is Victor Tango Bravo. I'm using the keyboard to input everything. You notice this small K up here. If you just click on the click spot there, you get a small K. That means you can use your keyboard. It makes it a lot easier. Up in November 865 is the next airway. And Delog. It's quite a straight route, this one. Up in November 864. Night on. Upper Papa 17. Oops. We've got a mismatch there. Hang on, let's try that again. Upper Papa 17. Nope, it's not going to like that. So, what we need to do. Is just take a direct so instead of upper path 17, we'll go straight to Nokin. Nokin, put that in, and it, it's going direct on the upper November 864. Anyway, activate, execute, and then we need to go to Perth initialization. This is really quite straightforward. We need a cruise altitude. We've been given a cruise of 3.6. That's probably minimum, so I'm going to go 3.80. Yep. And uh, over here, put in reserves of 2 tons. Oops, sorry. Reserves of 2. Cost index of 25. And to get your zero fuel weight, I did it quite quickly then to get your zero fuel weight you just click on the button next to zero fuel weight and that sorts that out okay 
Musical to uh, transition altitude here, I think, is 6,000, same as the UK. And here we go. What's the purser saying? Uh, yeah, he wants his seatbelt signs on, and I think that is Emma pushing back over there by the looks of it. Yep, I think that's Emma pushing back. Where, where, where are we? Take off, so take off, uh, temperature select here, so this is for your derated take off. Uh, Boeing recommend anywhere between 30 and 50, so I always put 4 or 5 in there. And I, if you click your V speeds, it says invalid entry, so you clear that. And the bottom button here, you turn from off to on, and the V speeds come in. You just need to confirm them. And basically, that is the FMC uh, fully programmed. We do need to get a departure. So, departure from uh, runway 27, there is no SID, so it's uh, straight out. We've got to be aware of Spanish airspace, uh, but that's probably not a problem in that sim, so we won't worry about that too much. But normally you would, you, you'd have to do a left hand turn, so you don't go over the Spanish airspace uh, for some time, but Clearly, we haven't got any SIDs for here, so we just uh, just go straight out on runway 27, activate that, and close the FMC. That's the FMC done. Uh, just need to get some position lights on here. Just put those on for a time being, and now set up the MCP. Initial altitude 6,000 feet. Flight directors on. We'll just put the initial Mac up a little bit just to give us that little bit of a push. Don't really need to worry about heading, but we'll do it and we'll put it in. It's 27. 